Hi, and welcome to this video where we will be wiring up our L293D motor driver. To wire this up, you're, you're going to be needing a lot of wires. First, let's pull out some to get started. So as you can see, there's a notch at the top of the L293D, and that indicates the top. So this is pin 1 to the left, like this. Um, and so that's 1 and 2 enable. So we can plug that into the red terminal, which we will be plugging in from our ESP as 3.3 volts. Now I'm going to give you a basic tutorial of how a breadboard works. So you can see each row is 5, and then there's a bracket, and then there's another 5. These 5 in one row are all connected to each other. These 5. So 5 in a row are connected, then this disconnects them, and then this is another separate row that's connected. That means that you can have a wire here that's connected to a wire plugged in here. That's why I'm doing this. Now these rows, these side rows are used mainly for power. They go on the entire length of the breadboard. So for example, the red terminal will go from here to here, and here it has a break. Some breadboards might not have a break, but this one does. And then you have to plug it in again here, same with the negative, and the same for this side as well. Just for safety reasons, I'm going to unplug my Node MCU from power. Then we're going to take some other wires and I'm going to wire up 3, 4 enable to the same terminal. 3, 4 is right there. Is that about right? Yeah. My wire is a little bit broken, so I'm going to fix it. And uh, falls out again. Put it in. Okay, now we can plug that into the same terminal. Okay, now we'll take another wire and we'll wire up that positive terminal to 3.3 volts. And there are numerous ones on the Node MCU, one of which is right here. Now let's create a ground terminal. So let's wire up GND, which is right next to it right there, into the negative terminal. Now we can start wiring our GNDs. So there are four in the center and you can connect them all together with this terminal. Okay, this one. And I have the wires shifted a little bit, so I'm going to move them over. This one's supposed to be here. Oh, it got bent. Whoops. I'm going to, going to re-unbend that and put that in here. Okay, that wire's broken, so let's put in another wire. That one goes there to this row. Now let's move on to the next set, which is going to be the logic power, which is pin 16 right over here. And that goes to the red terminal. Now we can continue wiring up the rest of the grounds together. So, uh, this one should go to here. And that goes to here. So these two are connected now. We'll take some more wires and connect it to the other side. Okay, and we'll take another wire, plug it in from that side to the other side. Now, let's bring in the chassis now. Might be a, t a bit too big for this view, but we have wires on each side. So we'll wire these up to the outputs. So 
We're going to figure it out later, sooner or later, but we have one wire here and one wire here, and through experimentation, we can figure out which ones to plug into. So we'll plug one into output two and one into output one. Now, this motor driver can only drive four, four wheels monodirectionally. So it can only drive four wheels going forward, but it can drive two motors going bidirectionally. So two motors can go back and forth, but with the with four motor control, it can only go single direction. So we're going to drive two motors bidirectionally, which perfectly fits our needs. Now the other side, I haven't soldered yet, so I'm not gonna connect it until the next video, but let's connect up the nine volt power now. So we have the battery pack, which is right here, if I can get it, and we're going to connect it using some wires in a second. Okay, so this is pretty much the basic wiring. Now we have to wire up the inputs. So these inputs are scattered all about. This one's input two, so we're gonna put, plug it into D2. This one is input one, so we're gonna plug it into D1. Now I'm just doing this out of convenience because a thing with the Node MCU is that all pins except for D0 are PWM, which means they can provide different amounts of power. So therefore you can make the motors drive slower, drive faster, etc. using all the pins except D0. Okay, and that can go into D4, or that's D3, sorry. And then there's D4, finally. That's a broken wire, so let's use another one. D4. Okay, and that goes into about here. There we go, and that is our basic wiring. And in the next video, we'll be covering the basic coding. I'll see you then.